Hello and welcome to the show. I am back on Forza Horizon 4 today uh, going to be tackling the hill climb. You might notice a sense of trepidation in my voice because you guys voted to see me try and do this in the classic transit. Which I'm not expecting to be very good. At all. No, it's just it's just not going to be particularly great. However, I'm going to give it as good or as short as I can. Uh, now, the problems the problems we're going to see with this one uh, is actually I don't think it's too terribly heavy uh, from standard. They're three and a half thousand pounds. By the time I'm taking the weight out, it's actually not going to be too bad for a van. My concerns are well, it wasn't exactly built for grip. Uh, tire size. I did have a quick look actually before starting this. Is not as big as you'd like. 255s at the rear. Not particularly massive and very small tyres at the front. So, yeah, that's not really ideal. We will have, of course, the race compound on this. I might as well go for the track width adjusters. Uh, standard engine will not stay in this. It would probably be one of the few vehicles in which uh, we will be swapping the engine. The rules for this series, if the car can get to the top of A-Class with the standard engine, uh, then it must run it. However, you know, the standard engine in this isn't great. Uh, we will have some race suspension on it, making <laughs> it slightly lower. It's, I mean, it's better than running it on the wobbly suspension that it comes with, but it isn't going to be all that. I love how also I've still got this as D100 because the engine's pants. Uh, <laughs> the engine's pants, so it still lets. We can get all of these on race tyres and full weight reduction, and it's still. I don't know why I'm bothering. Uh, no, I can change that because it's the. Uh, if you change the drive line, it kind of auto upgrades a bunch of your things in here, so we can get away with that. Um, yeah, so standard engine. If I was to try and do anything with this, I mean, it's just not gonna. So thankfully, on Horizon Four with the basket system, I can just chuck parts on, and I don't actually spend any money. It's not gonna get to the top of A class. It's not gonna get to the top of A class. So we will have to swap the engine. This gives us some choices. Although not as many choices as I thought, actually. Uh, 5.2 litre V8. I thought as in PI-wise we're talking here. Uh, turbo Rally. Uh, oh, we can get, this, we can get the 7 litre V8 in. The Racing 7.2 litre V8. That's from the Stadium Truck, I believe. Uh, that's a lot of power, or from the stadium truck, trophy truck, whichever one it was. Uh, it's a lot of power, of course, we're not going to be <laughs> we're not going to be using that in this. It would give it a 0 60 in uh, 4.1 seconds, that would be fun. Uh, we could go for uh, a 7 litre V8. I think we're probably going to go and stick with the... Uh, actually, that's not the V8 I was expecting it to have. 5.2. It's not the Chevy V8 that you normally play around with. However, we are going to go with a V8 swapped transit. That's much power. I mean, I could go for a V8 swapped supercharged transit. And I kind of like the idea of a supercharger. You know what? We're going to go with a supercharger on it because I can. That's what we're going to do on this one. Uh, it's not likely to fight at the top of the table, so let's put a supercharger on it. That seems like, <laughs> seems like a sensible idea to me. Uh, and I guess we're really just on power because I did all the handling bits already. Stick on the exhaust, save some weight. I mean, it's a little bit heavier engine than the standard one, but it's also got 656 horsepower. Quite a lot more power than the standard engine. Little bit concerned about controllability, I'm not going to lie. Remember, we have a 700 horsepower. With the exception of the Iron Knight, this will be the most powerful vehicle that has run up the hill climb stage. And it's got tiny tyres at the back. They are race tyres, of course, though, which is very, very helpful indeed. Um, oh, wow, I actually got... I did put on all of those. Um, I guess then we're out of bits to try and sneakily upgrade. We are ready to go. We are ready to go with the maddest transit. <laughs> I say the maddest transit. It could get a lot madder. For A-Class, this is bonkers, and it probably won't work going up the Needle Pass. It's going to be a lot of sideways stuff. So, here we are on the start line with the mad <laughs> V8-powered transit. I am not expecting much. I will have three runs to try and go as fast as possible. Uh, truth be told, this is battling with the Iron Knight, the M4, maybe the Vandura to try and be the fastest of the vans. I think the Vandura is probably going to be more controlled than than this one is. Uh, this is probably a bit lighter than the Vandura, which is something at least. But uh, yeah, it's the it's the sliding, it's the oversteer that's going to be the big issue with the transit and already. 
I'm seeing plenty of that uh, because <laughs> it just can't put any power down. You can't put any power down coming out the corners and it's got no real front end grip to get into the corners. So you are just sort of stuck. It's just not much that you can really do other than just sort of sit and wait or be unnecessarily sideways through a turn which will then cost you a bunch of speed. Anyway, we're about 10 miles an hour down on the exit of that corner uh, from what we saw the Audi Quattro uh, do. Of course, the Quattro was a very fast car. Quattro had the grip, had the traction, <laughs> and neither. It will have the acceleration. I mean, in terms of sheer outright speed, this would probably be the fastest car. The drag race between all the vehicles that have run up here so far. The the, the Lotus, the 340R, might get off the line fastest, I would imagine, being so very light. But uh, this, for, for top-end speed, or top-end speed for anything more than 0-60, to 60, uh, this would probably win just on virtue of such power. The Iron Knight might not be too bad either, in terms of a sheer drag race car. Uh, well, it's not going to be a great first run for the Transit, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be a great first run for the Ford. It's going to be... <laughs> 132. I mean, it beats the BMW M4, which is quite funny, the completely stock BMW M4. So your V8 Transit is a faster way up the hill than a stock M4. But we need to find a couple of seconds if we're going to beat the Vandura. So here we are on to our second run with the Ford. I'm hoping maybe I can be a bit neater. I think that's probably where the time is going to come from. It might, I might try on this run going for uh, leave the van in second a lot more. My theory being it might be easier to get on the power out of these corners. We should have enough power and torque from the engine to get away with this and it makes it a little bit more manageable for, for me driving the car. So I can focus, focus more on the massive amount of understeer from the front end not wanting to turn uh, than worry about the huge amount of oversteer because I'm trying to put the power down and it's all escaping and god it's not doing what it should be. But that's, that pretty much sums up the transit and this second gear Technique actually works quite nicely uh, for me. There's still going to be a little bit of oversteer. But again, it looks it doesn't look very dramatic driving like this. It might not even sound as dramatic. Uh, however, however, I think it's going to be where I can potentially find some speed. Hell, I can almost have second the entire way up. Oh, understeer there, it just doesn't. <laughs> it's just constantly, constantly pushing wide. Now, don't excite the rears too much. There we go. We can get up to third again here. Yeah, I mean it's. It's not as bad as I feared it might be. I guess the race tyres do really, really help here. The fact that, well, for this sort of road you're going to want race tyres regardless of what you're doing. Just because it is so pure handling based. Um, and that means that when you do put 700 horsepower in a transit, it makes it more manageable than you might initially expect. Come on, come on Ford, get out of that final corner. Here we go, runs the line. Oh, it's going to be fastest of the vans. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> it will go fastest of the vans. It beats the Vandura by a few tenths of a second, or by, in fact, for seven tenths of a second. So, <laughs> there we go. I mean, we're a second and a bit off for Lancia Stratos. Don't think we're beating that, but I was expecting worse, I'm not going to lie. Well, amazingly, the transit well, sub 130 up here is actually surprisingly rapid in some respects. We only need a second and a bit to beat Alancia Stratos, although I do think that might be pushing our luck. The Stratos was also a notoriously oversteery car. Uh, I'm hoping uh, maybe you can take things a little neater. Certainly, the second gear out of all of these corners is the way to go with the transit. It just makes life 10 times easier and we found a bunch of time doing it on that previous run. So we are going to stick with that and try and get a bit of a later apex through here. Let's try and get that neater a run as possible for the chicane because you can't really chuck the transit around. That is the big in some ways, the lack of turning is hampering it more than the 700 horsepower escaping out of the back of the car. Uh, that's Well, that's a testament to this course, ultimately. Because it is such a technical, such a nasty hill climb stage, and I just cannot get the front end to turn into these corners to carry any speed, even if I can get away with putting the power down. 
Uh, I just cannot get the front end turned, and I've now try I'm trying to make up for that. I think I've been a little too aggressive early on in this run. We're a little wide on the exit there as well, which is not really what you want to be doing. I think it might have got away from us a bit on this. I think this might have got away from me trying a little too hard. I mean, you've got to try something. That previous run was very good. It's, it's nice to have one of those, I say a banker run, but it's nice to have had a very, very good second run because then you can try and be that little bit more aggressive. You can try and chuck the transit around a little bit more in the hope of finding time. Sometimes it works, other times it does not. And I think this is going to be very much one of those cases if it didn't. But we gave it a good go. Yeah, there's just no front end grip. <laughs> there's no front end grip from this whatsoever, which is a little bit of a shame. We don't quite go. We got close, actually. Very, very similar uh, runs, those final two. Yeah, that one was just, just overdrove it slightly a couple of points early on. Um, trying, to, trying to make up for... Trying to make up speed, trying to make up for the horrendous, horrendous turning that we had, or lack of turning, that we had to, to deal with there. That, though, is all pretty damn impressive, though. Honestly, when <laughs> you guys voted for a transit, I thought it would be terrible. I, I thought it was going to be absolutely garbage. And while it isn't particularly fast, it is the fastest van. It beats the GMC Vandura, it beats the 65 Mini, beats that uh, stock BMW M4, and beats the Iron Knight. Yeah, we lose out, second and a half-ish, to the Stratos, uh, to the Volvo 850R, to the Scirocco. Uh, Master RX-8 and so on, they do start getting a bit faster up there, but it's closer than I expected. It's a lot closer than I expected, because on that sort of road, with this sort of a build series, uh, 700 horsepower in the transit, even with race tyres, sounds like it shouldn't work. Really sounds like it shouldn't work. But uh, there we go. We do have a wheel spin. You know what? I think I have a wheel spin anyway. I might as well might as well go and do that while, <laughs> while I'm filming. Will we have amazing filming luck, or will we have terrible filming luck? Something goes, it goes both ways. Uh, we are going to have terrible, terrible filming luck. <laughs> what are the Aston Martin? God damn it. Well, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that is going to be it for this, for this video. As ever, if you would like to request vehicles to take on the Needle Pass, please do uh, leave a comment below the most liked comment provided it is a vehicle that i have slash can acquire slash can afford and fits within the class regulations etc uh, will be run next time out maybe it'll surprise well the transit surprised us we didn't challenge the top of the table but you know i guess surprises are good surprises are, are good uh, so yeah let me know we'll see who knows what madness will take on the needle pass next time around thank you all very much for watching until next time a uh, goodbye